Hello and welcome to Pro Series Supportability. Uh, today's video, we're going to talk about a um, process uh, to convert uh, ProTax Online to Pro Series. Uh, the PTO team, when they um, convert the <clears throat> tax files so that they can convert over to Pro Series, they actually produce LACERT files that can be uploaded for conversion to Pro Series. So in other words, they're coming from PTO and then are converted to a LACERT file format that can be uploaded for conversion to convert to a Pro Series file format. On the left side, you can see what it looks like. They typically don't um, combine each of the return types into a single database. So what they do is give you um, a single zip file that has the various databases separated as you see here <clears throat> on the left side. So C data in LACERT represents the corporate uh, data and the I data represents the individual data. So I'm clicking on the individual data so you can get a sense of how it looks. It's the same way in the other databases. But what's important to understand is that um, each of these are their own database. Ideally, when PTO creates the backups, it would be helpful for the customer if uh, they were all combined into a single database. But since they give it to us in this, in this, um, in this manner, the only advice we can give you is to uh, back to to create a backup out of the individual uh, databases and upload those for conversion one at a time, one database at a time. Okay. So in this case, you can see here I have the the individual data um, backed up to to the desktop. What I'm going to do first is is extract it. And then I'm going to put it onto this location called backup. Okay. So I'm going to extract it. And here we are now uh, within the folder uh, called downloads. Um, you can see the two databases are here. On the right side, now I have the um, conversion data folder that the um, conversion data application needs to read from. So here I already have my folder set up under the C drive and I'm going to open it to upload the file. I mean, to, to prepare conversion data, to be able to upload files so that the data conversion app can recognize them. Um, I'm just going to basically take, take this folder and I'm going to drop it to illustrate the, um, the issue that you're going to encounter by just doing this. Okay. So I'm opening pro series here to show you uh, the steps. I'm going to go to the import menu and I'm coming down to client data conversion and I'm going to click on submit client data. And then I'm going to sign in. Now remember, I had just moved the <clears throat> the iData folder directly into conversion data. So now I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to select the cert. And of course, this is to convert from 2019's files for 2020. And it's giving me a reminder. And I'm going to click Next. These are basically the backup instructions where it says in the backup dialog box, select conversion data, etc. But notice I get an error. Why am I getting an error if my files are in the data folder uh, where they're supposed to be for the application to work? So I'm going to hit back 
because I don't want to repeat the signing process. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to move all of these files to the root of conversion data. And I'm going to get rid of that iData backup. Now everything is under the root of conversion data. And now you can see it detected that there are three um, individual tax clients. It's actually reading it from the detail folder. These are the actual tax files, like um, .19i would be for um, Pro Series. Uh, ID9 is, is the detail file for uh, LACERT, okay? Once these files get uploaded, then um, they'll get converted. And when uh, done, they'll end up in the 32-bit, uh, uh, sorry, not in the 32-bit directory, but in ProWin20 uh, within a subfolder called um, Comp Conversion. And this is where they would end up in after they're converted, okay? And then the program can transfer them from that location. Well, I hope it makes sense what I, I just covered here. Um, the main takeaway that you want from this is that the, com the conversion data application needs to have the database on the root of conversion data, not within a subdirectory. Secondly, because PTO gives, gives the customer who's, who's, who's switching from PTO to Pro Series, client data files that are in separate databases, like your P data would be for partnership, I data for individual, C for corporate um, data. Uh, they're each going to have their own individual databases, and you can't commingle them once they're, they're in this state. So the only option you have is to upload them one database at a time. Okay. I hope this, uh, this video was helpful. Um, and like I said, when this process is, is done, the, the tax files are going to end up in the current year program directory under comp conversions. Okay. All right. Well, um, I hope this video was helpful. Um, and uh, just look for more, more uh, videos in the future. If you have any suggestions, please uh, let us know and we'll work on that for you. Okay. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.